In this video, you're going to see how to replace the glass in a sash. Roll the putty in your hands to get rid of lumps, as well as turning it over on a piece of hardboard to remove excess oil. With a small amount of putty in your hand, press it into the rebate with your thumb. Once you get a rhythm going, you can apply an even amount all the way around the frame. If you keep your hands clean when handling the glass, you won't have a big cleaning job at the end. You can apply a lot of pressure around the outside, but not in the middle of the pane where it'll break. Apply a firm even pressure and bed the glass right down into the rebate. A good substitute for glazing sprigs is panel pins with the heads cut off. If you slide the hammer on the surface of the glass, you won't break the glass. If the central glazing bar is too thin to insert a pin, leave it out otherwise you might split it. Now clean the excess putty off from the inside of the window. This is how you start to finish off the outside using exactly the same method as you did for inserting the putty into the rebate. Plenty of thumb pressure is needed on the putty knife. Draw the putty knife towards you, holding it at a steep angle. Finally, tidy up the mitres in each corner with a straight edge of the putty knife. As a finishing touch, use a brush in some water to get rid of any imperfections. And for a really professional finish, you should clean the glass with either a cloth or some dry newspaper. <laughs> 